today out here on the ranch we're going to grind up some venison uh, I shot a doe out at the uh, Dawson Conway Ranch uh, near Albany Texas and I kind of wanted to make sure you know the deer I shot is the deer I received back so I didn't take it to the processor sometimes they mix in you know a whole bunch of venison from other people or some big old nasty bucks or something they'll mix in with your meat so with it being a doe and uh, I just figure I'll go ahead and do it myself so I've got this LEM uh, number eight grinder uh, and then we've got the LEM uh, sealer there for these bags you know as as you see here in a minute once we you know get to the second grind it will put an attachment on there and it'll fill up these bags with the meat and then that machine there you run the bag through there and it uh, ties it with tape and cuts it off and everything so saves you a little time there uh, right now we're going to weigh up the beef fat um, we got that right here uh, local butcher uh, hooked me up with that I've got my scale ready here and I've already weighed my venison meat it's already all cut up so I kind of know how much of this I need uh, based upon the amount of deer meat I've got so I'm gonna go ahead and wait up and give it the, the, the fat just one initial grind and then we'll get the meat out and uh, grind all that together I'm gonna go for a like an 80-20 mix ratio so 80% uh, deer meat 20% beef fat uh, there's lots of different things you can use uh, you know some people like to use uh, bacon bits and ends that you get some people mix in brisket you know it doesn't really it's just personal choice I mean you can try different things I mean if you shoot if you shoot a deer a year uh, you know why not try something different every year figure out what you what you like um, this is going to be the first time I've tried the beef fat um, I have used pork fat before it's which is pretty good but I figure I'd just give something different a try and you know it looks like I had about 13 pounds of um, this chunks kind of still frozen here I may just get some other out of here but uh, a little over 13 pounds of deer meat so we're going to put in a little over three pounds of beef fat here and of course uh, it's by weight not volume of course that's why we're weighing it and here's the grinder head I had it in the uh, freezer overnight keep it keep it as cold as possible you know everything with these grinders uh, works much better if it's cold what's that thing on somebody was making chicken nuggets okay got that on there put her hopper on and I already had the blade in the, the this is the coarse grind plate already in there so it was all frozen together in one piece so the beef fat uh, same thing I, I had it real cold um, in the freezer for a little while to kind of get it a little crystallized find it feeds a little bit nicer that way uh, and then my grinder I've got it hooked up to a foot pedal foot pedal that I use on my miter saw for running the vacuum and everything I just brought it in here and rigged it up to this thing uh, and I don't have to sit there and turn a switch on and off constantly so let's give it a go here
and went and got the bowl of venison out of the freezer. Uh, got it kind of just nice and icy. I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but it still has some ice crystals on it. It's kind of a good state to be in, but it's it's thawed out enough, you know, that it'll that I can handle it. You know, it's not all in big giant chunks. Uh, I had the head back in the freezer, so we'll go ahead and put it back on and and we will grind together the venison and the fat. I'm kind of going to get it a little closer to me here. And we'll just sort of, you know, feed it handful or two at a time. I mean, it's not really rocket science. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, so precise. We're done with the coarse grind, which was this plate here, and we're going to switch over to the smaller plate, this one, and re-grind everything. I'll show you what the that's what the meat looked like, uh, you know, with that one coarse grind on it. Doing the fine grind definitely is a little bit slower, slower going than the course, but you know it's just another thing that's all personal preference really. Here's the end result, these nine here that are about a pound and a quarter a piece. Uh, I just weighed them. And then I got those four patties that are uh, in the refrigerator right now that I'm about to go start up the grill and make some hamburgers. And then I'll have to come back in here and clean everything up. And I sure like that that tying machine there that puts the tape around the twisted end that sure makes it easy. We're gonna do us a little smash burger imitation out here at the ranch. Smash burger's too far to drive to. And so we just make our own at the ranch. Plus we got fresh venison so here we go. We start out with a, a lodge cast iron little uh, skillet like that, or I don't know what the hell you call that thing. Get you a couple pieces of butter. Bang, bang. A minute to kind of melt on there. Get you a little, little circle going on. 
These patties are already kind of flattened out a little bit. Generally, this mashed burger way, I think they actually put it on there as a ball, but this will work anyway. You get your lodge, a little smasher there, kind of give her a little, a little flattening a little bit further there. Wait about 10 seconds. Holding pressure and then we'll just slide her off of there like so. Next one, give it about 10 seconds. Put a little, a little more salt and pepper on there. I always just combine the two in a little shaker like that, save you a little bit of time. Just mix the salt and pepper. And I think this one's about good on the smash. We'll cut the lid, give them a little bit here. And how you can tell that they're done on this one side is once you start seeing juices on the top side, that's your indicator to, to flip them. And I've got the grill as hot as it'll go. This, this whole method here cooking, it doesn't take all that long. go to flip you want to really kind of scrape all that goodness off the bottom of your pan make sure it comes with the burger that's, that's the good part is that, that caramelized stuff on the bottom oh yeah bingo look at the size of that baby Woo! Give them another couple minutes on that side and we'll throw some cheese on her. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for them old days of yore well, let me run through the breeze yep it's looking pretty good we'll throw some Kobe Jack cheese on it Get them off of there. Well, yeah, same thing on this side. Once you see a little bit of kind of juice coming up from this side, they're they're about done. We'll give them another couple minutes with the with the cheese on there. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. Pickles. Gotta have some jalapenos on there. Jalapenos, whatever you want to call them. Let the pull of the plow bring 
the sweat from my brow and the glow of the fire pulled me home let me wind down my days in the sweet dusty haze take me back down the old dirt road oh take me back down 